Hey guys, uh, today is May 28th. Yesterday I was four weeks post-op radial form five plyoplasty. I've had a lot of improvement when it comes to my leg and also my arm graft. I will post pictures of what that looks like now. Um, for my leg, I am getting a lot of normal skin that is coming back, so very uh, very little red redness still remaining on the right side of my graft um, and then on the left side is still a little bit darker darker of a red color um, but it's definitely lightening up so I'm very happy about that I am continuing to put neosporin on it every day and then I was putting um, adaptive over it and then wrapping in an ace bandage um, today I started just doing neosporin and then um, a little bit of gauze and then the ace bandage um, adaptive is kind of expensive so I'm just kind of saving the rest of that to use on my arm in regards to my arm, I am changing it every Monday and Thursdays. Um, again, using Adaptic and then wrapping it in gauze, and then I do still have uh, the splint on. Um, as far as my foul is, I have started um, the voiding trials again today. So I did do it um, this morning for the second time. After waiting about a week, I did have a small fistula at the bottom of my phallus. Um, when urinating today, I did have a much harder stream. Um, which is very exciting and then also I did still have a little bit of dribble from the fistula underneath my phallus um, but it was definitely much less than it was previously the first time I did it um, I did contact my urologist and he told me to continue avoiding for the rest of the day so I did do it again about maybe 15 minutes ago and almost 90% of it came from the tip and then a little bit of dribble came um, from underneath the phallus when I wiped it afterwards and as far as opening the valve after urinating, you want to have about 70 to 75% of the urine coming from your phallus. Um, so when I opened the valve this morning, the first time I did it, um, I would say maybe about like 20% of it was left. And then when I did it the second time, um, about maybe like 10% of it was left in my bladder. Um, so it's definitely getting better. I hope to uh, continue doing that for the rest of the day. I do have another post-op appointment with my urologist on Wednesday. Um, if my voiding continues to be do, uh, if my voiding continues to be going well, um, he does plan to be taking out my catheter at that point, and then I'll be urinating solely from my phallus. Other than that, um, for my phallus, I do have a little bit of scabbing left, uh, but all the stitches seem to be healed up, um, and there's a little bit of redness around the tip. But other than that, it's healing pretty nicely. Um, it's still pretty firm, like I mentioned before, um, but sometimes it does get softer, and other times it's harder. I did ask the doctor about that, um, and he said it's pretty much just the blood flow. If you stand up for a long time, it can get harder, and the longer you sit down, it'll get a little bit softer. Um, but he said, um, essentially, after about 9 to 12 months, it will be more flaccid. Um, so we'll just see how, how it goes. I'm currently, like I said, one month post-op phalloplasty, so I do have a long time to go before I get um, any implant surgery. So we'll just see how that goes and if I decide to do that, depending on the firmness of the phallus after the 9 to 12 month mark. Um, so far, I would say I'm pretty happy with the way that I'm healing. I have probably about like four to six weeks left of healing if everything goes well. Around three weeks post-op, I did start driving a little bit. So I have been doing more things on my own. I'm able to get up and walk around more. Um, specifically with the help of my underwear, um, the underwear that I've been wearing is Separatech, um, so it does have a separate pop, a separate pocket for the penis, and it does have a pouch for your balls. So that does help with keeping my penis propped up, and it does um, help with the comfort of walking around. Um, when sitting down, I don't really have to prop it as much just because the um, separate pocket for the penis, it does prop it up, so I don't need to put like any towels or washcloths or anything like that underneath and also when I wear them when I sleep I don't I don't have to um, I don't have to worry too much of, about it um, not being propped the underwear pretty much keeps it propped up so that's also very helpful when walking around I don't have to hold it up or worry about it falling down um, the underwear is very helpful and it's actually really comfortable so I'd definitely rec recommend getting Separatech to anyone um, post phalloplasty I found it on Amazon it's about $35 for three pairs, so I thought that wasn't that bad of a deal. If any of you are interested in pre or post-op pictures or videos, um, 
I do have that available on my Patreon. I do have other exclusive posts that I do not post on social media um, in regards to sensation and, and urinating and everything like that. Um, so again, the link for that will be down below. If you have any questions, make sure to comment and then don't forget to like and subscribe.